Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for February 27th of 2023. Well, it is titled Zodiacal Ray with Venus and Jupiter. So what do we see here? Well, the primary thing we're looking at is that ray of light seeming to come up from the horizon and point through go through two bright objects in the sky and then toward a cluster of stars up toward the top. Now this is what is known as the zodiacal light and that is caused by dust within our solar system that reflects light and reflects it back to Earth causing a little bit of brightness ex excess brightness along the plane of the milk I'm sorry along the plane of the solar system. So we see that here and that is the what we and what we call the zodiacal light reflecting light from within our solar system. Now why does it pass right through these objects? Well, let's take a look at what these objects are and we'll label them here for you. We can see the zodiacal light stretching up there and then off near the horizon near the person sitting on top of the uh, mountain mountain rock structure there is the planet Venus. Venus the brightest object in the sky after the sun and the moon. And above that as we work our way up through the zodiacal light is Jupiter. And then finally up at the top is the Pleiades star cluster. Now the Pleiades star cluster just happens to be in this general line by chance. So it is not part of our solar system. It is well beyond our solar system. However, Jupiter and Venus are within our solar system and everything in our solar system orbits in the same plane. It's essentially like the solar system is a flat piece of paper and all of the planets orbit around our sun on that piece of paper. Now that's not exactly true. All of the orbits are slightly tilted, but not by a whole lot. And the using it a piece of paper to estimate the solar system is actually a pretty good approximation. So the solar system is very thin, at least when it comes to talking about things like the planets and the asteroids. And that's why we see the zodiacal light being reflected from material there. Now Venus is getting higher and higher in the sky and Jupiter lower and lower. So in another week or so they will be somewhat close together and then they will switch places Venus being higher in the sky and Jupiter fading off into the sun glare of the sun there and eventually becoming not visible any longer. So here we get to see both of them and a chance to look at both of those off in the sky over the next week or so. So that was our picture of the day for February 27th of 2023. It was titled Zodiacal Ray with Venus and Jupiter. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be Temple Moon. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone. And I will see you in class.